heritage site of Stonehenge in UK. It is about 171 miles from Nottingham and it took 2.5 hour by car. We had booked our tickets online previously to avoid the rush and the long queue. The Stonehenge was built in several stages. It began about 5000 years ago as a simple earthwork enclosure where prehistoric people buried their cremated dead. The stone circle was erected in the center of the monument in the late Neolithic period around 2500 BC. It was built in six stages between 3000 and 1520 BC during the transition from Neolithic period that is New Stone Age to the Bronze Age. Today we have come to visit this prehistoric place with our friends and you will stand in the line. And the weather is you can see superb, it's summer. There are certain do's and don'ts of Stone Age. Whenever you are coming here, Please carry water, some snacks with you as you have to walk quite a long way and if you are planning to visit during the summers then you must carry your hat and you should always book your tickets online if you plan to visit during the season. We are actually waiting for the bus to take us to the site of the Stonehenge. So here the bus comes and now we will get in and head towards the prehistoric monument of Stonehenge. Before coming here, please check the opening time as the times differ during the summers and the winters. Our walking began. Remember to go to the washroom before boarding the bus because you have to walk a long way and there is no washroom there. Don't forget to grab a radio guide at the visitor center. This will help to know the details a lot. Numbers will be given and you will be able to hear the history of each point by pressing the number. It's really cool. To walk over here through the nature and the wind is blowing, it's just amazing. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Can you all see the rush over here? It's really crowded. It's best if you can visit Stonehenge with your family and friends. I mean if the members of visiting here are more because family ticket price is always less than individuals. This is only a half day trip though you have to walk a lot but half day is enough. So you can dedicate your another half of the day for a trip to the near place Bath or you can also visit to Salisbury, there's a big good cathedral over there. We are enjoying quite a lot during this sunny and windy day. Though we had to walk a lot but as it was a bit windy so it was not a problem at all. And it was a very very nice experience being here at UNESCO World Heritage in England.
Stonehenge faces the summer solstice sunrise and both summer and winter solstice are still celebrated there today. Stonehenge was such a massive undertaking requiring the labor of thousands of people to move stones from as far as West Wales, shaping them and erecting them. Just the work itself requiring everything to pull together means an act of unification. At Stonehenge, it's always been about the sun. For more than 4,000 years, the monument has stood like a giant sundial, marking the longest day of the year and the shortest, taking aim at the sun like a giant stone and the giant sight. Do not forget to visit the museum. It depicts a lot about the Stonehenge. Our trip to Stonehenge was a great one. We enjoyed knew so many things and now we are heading towards Bath, the Roman Bath of England which is only one hour from here. So hope you have enjoyed this trip with me. So what are you all waiting for? Make your plan for Stonehenge. Bye. Thank you.